My name is Maximilian Günther. I am 22 years old and I'm racing for BMW i Andretti Motorsport. I'm driving in general since uh, I'm six years old, starting with go-karts and racing in Formula E uh, since uh, one and a half years, starting at the end of 2018 as a full-time Formula E driver in season five. It's a long way until you arrive in, in Formula E. I was six years of age, I started with, with go-karts, then stepping up the ladder uh, through the different championships, uh, becoming more and more international. Then the biggest step that you do is the step from karting to uh, single-seaters, which for me back then was Formula BMW in 2011. And yeah, then uh, from ADC Formula Masters, Formula 3, Formula 2, and then uh, yeah, Formula E was uh, another last step. And um, yeah, it's definitely what I can say is it's an honor to be part of uh, the BMW family and to, to be racing in Formula E. It's always different. I mean, on the one hand, we are, we are traveling a lot. You have uh, the opportunity to see many great cities, different cultures, people, and um, yeah, at the end, to just do what I, what I love the most, racing cars, is, uh, is fantastic. And um, as well, all the, the work around, you know, with all the, the analysis, with the engineers, how to set up the car, how to tune it, how to improve it uh, on all parameters, the same for, for myself. Um, then as well, you have many media activities. You, you, you just, yeah, always have different parts in your, in your job, never the same. And um, yeah, that's what I, what I like the most uh, about my job. Um, we are here in uh, the racing simulator. It's basically our best tool to prepare for the, for the race weekend and as well for the development because the uh, amount of testing days, which are very important for us, but they are, they are limited. And that's why we use the, the simulator, which is um, yeah, very close to reality. We can drive here as often as we, as we like. And um, yeah, for sure for development reasons, it's um, a very important tool. And uh, I'm spending a lot of time here inside this uh, dark room. During the season, uh, ahead of every race, we have uh, at least two simulator days uh, in order to prepare for the race weekend itself. And yeah, it's our most important preparation tool. A big advantage of the simulator is that you always have the same conditions. So if you compare different setup items, software developments, you can always have the same conditions because if you go testing in real life, there is always different temperatures, different uh, maybe tires, different, yeah, not the same condition at the end of the day. And what you have here in the, in the simulator, it's, it's always the same and you can compare things uh, very well. You don't feel the G-forces in a, in a simulator, but apart from this, all the you know, braking force, steering force, the movement of the car, everything is, is uh, as close as possible to real life. The, the track, it's, it's scanned, so all the, the bumps, the corner radius is all is the same as in, in real life. And this makes it a, a very important um, yeah, tool for us, for the engineers, for the drivers to prepare in the best possible way for each race weekend. So another big advantage of uh, having a simulator is that you don't have to travel to each location with the whole team because we have it here stationary in Munich. The engineer is always here, so I need to just yeah, come here and, uh, and, and drive, and that's uh, what's, what makes it very easy. I'm wearing my helmet here in the simulator, on the one hand for safety reason, because the simulator, it's, it's moving, and it can uh, yeah, have some very quick movement, so yeah, better to have a a helmet on and uh, the second reason, the main reason really is uh, to have the same vision as in the real car because as you can already see here a bit with the halo and the cockpit around, our vision inside the car is quite limited and with the helmet on it's even, even smaller, the, the window where we have a good view and with all the adjustments that we need to do on the steering wheel and um, driving on a street circuit where it is really tight and, and narrow quite often, um, yeah, it just makes sense to have this, um, the helmet as well as a, as a future in the, in the simulator. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, uh, racing is teamwork. I mean, for sure, uh, inside the car, it's only myself, but um, all the, the work that we put into this project, it's, uh, it's a lot of yeah, teamwork with the engineers, with the mechanics. We started here in the factory, in the simulator, to to see like what can we do uh, on the on the racetrack, on the s on, on the software, on the setup of the car, what can we adjust to make the car even even quicker, even better in terms of drivability, and the same for me as a racing driver. You never stop learning. You always need to keep improving. And yeah, this let's say kind of atmosphere and relationship 
driver and engineer is something really important and um, can be definitely a, a reason for, for success at the end of the day. Uh, my future vision, it's, it's here in Formula E because I, I really yeah, like this championship a lot. It's, uh, I mean, it has six years of history only, but um, the development of the championship is extremely high. And yeah, it's, um, the cars are looking beautiful. Uh, they are great to drive. If the initial talk that you have from an electrical powertrain, it's all so modern and um, futuristic that um, yeah, I like it a lot. The competition is probably the biggest one in, in motorsport on a, on a driver's point of view and as well on a team's um, point of view with all the manufacturers that we have in this championship. So yeah, definitely it's a privilege to, to drive here and um, yeah, I see my future in this championship for sure.